First of all, let's talk to Bill Watson, who is the uh, home athletic director at Urbandale mm -hmm. High School. And Bill, good to see you again. Thanks for thanks for putting up with us oh, no. this again. No problem. Thanks for coming out. It, it is a great night, uh, much the, on, uh, the opposite of last night. So we are we are happy. We're looking for a great crowd tonight. It's homecoming in Urbandale, and uh, Ankeny always travels well. So uh, it, it should be a great crowd. Well, let's talk about your ball club, one and three right now, but uh, two critical losses from last year due to graduation, Chad Gilson and Javori Wetterboard. So you knew you were going to have to retool a little bit this year coming in anyway. Definitely, and we, we felt our strength would be on the defensive side of the ball, and we've got a couple setbacks on the defensive side, but I, I think tonight we'll be able to rebound a little bit. Um, offensively, we start uh, Ben Hurley at quarterback for the second straight week, and uh, I think that week last week of, of playing against Johnston, will help him help control our offense a little bit better. In uh, what way? What did, what did you get out of the, uh, the game with Johnston last week? Well, I think experience for, for Ben, you know, just running the option and also being on the field. I remember last year, Nigel Hobbins stepped in his first game when uh, Gilson went down against Dowling. And then uh, the second game he came back was a lot more comfortable under center and, and led us to victory against Southeast Polk. So we're, we're looking for good things tonight out of Nigel, or excuse me, out of, uh, out of Ben and our offense. Bill Watson, the athletic director of Urbandale, joining us here right now on the Shields game night crew of Urbandale and Ankeny tonight here at Urbandale. And, uh, Bill, for the most part, your game with Johnston last week, pretty uh, tight game for the first three quarters, and then Johnston broke through with a couple of touchdowns and kind of broke the game open. But uh, Urbandale was in that game uh, pretty much most of the way. Correct. And, you know, our three losses, aside from Dowling, um, which is a very good football team, and uh, we'll – will probably uh, be a very good football team the rest of the season. Uh, we've been in every game. Against Fort Dodge, it was 10 nothing at half. Uh, I believe it was 10 nothing to start the fourth quarter. We gave up a couple touchdowns late. Uh, last week, as you said, it was 17-7 to in the fourth quarter. Uh, we had the ball turnover, gave Johnson the ball in their territory, and they took it down and scored. Uh, and we added a touchdown late to make it a 31-14 loss. But, uh, you know, defensively, like I said, we've, we've done a pretty good job for three quarters. We need to extend that to four tonight and we need to get some production out of our offense. Uh, Bill Watson, the athletic director at uh, Urbandale, joining us here again. Uh, Bill, some of the, who are some of the newer, newer players that are kind of stepped into those roles uh, for the departed seniors that were here last year? Well, you know, our two leaders on defense uh, right at this time with Travis Perry being injured are uh, Tyler Schmidt, number 40, who plays uh, defensive tackle, and, and Jordan Augustine, number 42. Both were all-conference performers last year, and, and they anchor our defensive unit. We've got... Uh, Got several juniors that start on defense, and uh, we're mixed with a few sophomores and a freshman. We've got uh, Alan Lazard starting at uh, free safety now. So offensively, uh, as I said, Ben Hurley will take the quarterback reins. I'm not really sure who's going to play at uh, our true running back tonight. You'll probably see Aaron Nacharacha there. You'll probably see Jake DeHamer there. You may see Tyler Schmidt there as well. Our offensive line is, is anchored by, by Garrett Funk at uh, one of the guards. And Schmidt and Augustine also play uh, offensive line as well some. Let's talk a little bit about the future because I know talking to Sam Anderson, and you'll hear that in the interview coming up with the head coach, about the fact that we talked about this last year, about building through the program because you didn't last year had a lot of success but didn't want it to be a one-year thing and you have to build from within. What's, what's ahead? Well, we're a two-year school. We, we can't rely on one class of students to carry us in football. We've got to have two classes that meld together. And our, our sophomore class has some talented players in it and mixed with our junior class, I think we'll be okay. Our freshman class right now is three and two, and they've lost their two games on last second touchdowns. So they're, uh, they look bright in our middle school program and our youth program. Uh, Sam's got that rolling now. So, you know, I, I believe uh, we've got things going in the right direction throughout the program. Um, and that'll, that'll pay dividends down the road. Bill, what about the other sports uh, that are going on at the school right now? How are things shaping up athletically at Urbandale? Well, the gentleman I'm sitting next to, his volleyball team is ranked number one. We're ranked number three. <laughs> uh, we play each other in three weeks for what would be possibly the conference title here at Urbandale. I know our kids are, are looking forward to that, but we've got a lot of tough matches uh, between now and them. Um, we're 18-2 and two there. Our cross-country teams are perennially strong, and, and they're coming around now. Our boys' golf team takes to the links in uh, conference next week, and we share – swimming and diving with Johnston and the uh, Urbandale diver is the number one ranked diver in the state so we're pretty uh, happy with our athletic program across the board right now. All right Bill uh, good luck and thanks for taking time out for us tonight. Thank you.